Hey everybody, Mike here. So this video is going to be about how to carve a Disney character out of concrete. So on every job, we usually have a little leftover concrete. And what I'd like to do, I'd like this to be more of a fun type video. And I want you guys to try to guess what you think the Disney character is. And then down in the comments, put your guess and then the time in the video when you made your guess. And then at the end, we'll figure out if you were right or not. So... What Darren and Luke are doing here, they're, they're pretty talented. They don't just know how to finish, pour and finish concrete floors, but they can also carve concrete. And occasionally, when they get some extra time, they'll, they'll carve something out of concrete. And that's what they're going to do on this job. And we usually just leave it right there for the homeowner to have. And, and uh, usually they're pretty excited about it when they see the, the final result. So they went ahead and, and chose a Disney character. You can see Luke's holding his phone there. So they're kind of looking at it on the phone. And they're trying to figure out how to best approach starting this thing. And how to get the best shape. So that's what they're doing right now. So again, you know, try to, try to make a guess as to what they're going to carve out of this concrete. What Disney character it's going to be. Uh, even maybe what movie it's from let, let me know down in the comments if you like the video you know please hit the like button that'll help me out with the YouTube algorithm and if you're not a subscriber yet I do all kinds of videos about concrete work we specialize in all kinds of flat work type stuff so if you're not a subscriber I'd appreciate it if you go down there and hit subscribe and then share this video with a friend of yours if you think they'd like to see it you know and, and let them take a guess as to what this is so the guys, uh, Darren and Luke there, they're looking at the phone, they're looking at the picture, and they're trying to come up with the best way to attack this thing. We just got done pouring a couple of concrete walkways, and so the concrete's still pretty fresh. And they're, they're just trying to shape it up the best they can. This was actually, it was a, it was a 4,000 PSI mix with, that had 3 8 P-Stone in it. So, I mean, you could even use... You could even use some quickcrete or some sackcrete to do something like this. Probably take, I don't know, maybe like three bags, three 60 or 80 pound bags to, to be about the same amount of concrete as what the guys have right here. So it's starting to take shape a little bit. And again, you know, comment down there. Let me know what you think it is. Comment the name of the Disney character you think it is, and then also what movie it's from. Now the concrete we poured today, yeah, we're going to stamp. So that video will be coming up really soon. We did a couple walkways, one in the back of the house, one in the front of the house. And we colored them. So this concrete here does have some color in it. And then we're going to stamp a stone texture and an ashlar slate pattern on the walkways. And then the guys thought, hey, you know, these people that we're working for, they got a, a little three-year-old boy. And they thought it would be pretty cool to make him a little present when he got home today. So it's starting to take a little shape. The guys are still trying to figure out what they need to do to fine-tune this. And make it look like the real thing. They've carved some other characters before in the past, and but they've never carved this one. So this is actually their first attempt at doing this. Have any of you guys figured it out yet? You can kind of kind of figure out the shape of what it is. But what character is it? That's that's going to be the key. You can see Dar uh, Luke's using his mag float mostly, and Darren's using a little margin trial. It doesn't take a ton of tools to carve some concrete like this, as you can tell. It just takes a little bit of imagination, maybe a, also a, you know a good picture to go by. You've got quite a bit of time. You know, it's it's not that warm out today. It was probably in the 50s when they were doing this, so the concrete wasn't drying too fast. So they had they had a good hour to really play with this before the concrete got too dry. 
uh, trying to figure out how to make it look real, how to add some highlights to it to make it look like the real thing. So here's a little different angle. Now you can really see it's starting to take shape. Now they're both using a mag float on it. And they're trying to carve those edges and smooth those edges out, make them look a little more realistic. You can see the sun's coming out now, so they're starting to set up a little bit. They're, they're hustling a little bit faster here now, but they, they got it pretty much shaped the way they want it. Now it's just a matter of putting the highlights on it and making it look real. So what do you think? What is it, guys? Let me know out there. They're getting close to getting done. They just they got a few more things to do. Luke's trying to Luke's trying to make that look a little bit more realistic right there that one little part. So has anybody guessed yet? What do you think it is? Who, what Disney character do you think they carved out of that concrete right there? I think I probably could have guessed it. I, you know, I haven't watched any Disney movies in quite a while, but I think I could have guessed who this was. They did a pretty good job. You can see how fussy they're being. They want this they want this thing to look really good for that little boy. Well again, my name's Mike Day. I own everything about concrete. This is the YouTube channel you're watching. You know, if you like the video, go ahead and like, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And make sure to share the video with someone who you might think likes this and again down in the comments. Take a guess. What Disney character do you think this is and what movie was it from? And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.